duck hunters love to tell stories about hitting the migration just right and limiting out. However, that's not always reality. Duck hunting is hard work, and the untold story is one of missed shots, broken gear, and hopefully a few laughs. But if you put in the time and play your cards right, a northerly wind might bring some birds your way. That's satisfying. I'm Sean Weaver, a former hunting guide, TV producer, and a guy who's just obsessed with waterfowl hunting. But limits of birds aren't what keeps duck hunting alive, and that's what I want to talk about. This is Duck Lore. And okay. then I've got, uh, from here to there. That was pretty. Oh man, cute. that's what dreams are made of right there. My home, South Dakota. With its rolling hills, grasslands, and potholes, South Dakota is one of the most important states for duck production. But just as important are the crops and water that engulf much of East River, the land east of the Missouri. This habitat isn't just about nesting, but migrating. As ducks and geese migrate from Canada to the southern states, then back north to Canada, South Dakota serves up some prime feed and water every year. On this hunt, we're chasing snow geese in the spring conservation order as the snow geese make their way back to the tundra. My goodness, it is freaking cold. Yeah. <laughs> A little breezy. It's not warm. You think this will hold up those juvies at all? Mikhail? Oh yeah, for sure. On this hunt, I have my buddy Mikhail Goins and chef Kevin Gillespie. Mikhail is a snow goose hunting guide, but typically hunts them in the northern or southern parts of their migration, not here in the middle. Kevin had heard me talk at length about the challenges and tasty reward of hunting the spring conservation order and wanted to see what it's all about. Me and my pops, we went on a, that's who I went on my first snow goose hunt with. Um, and we was the whole, you know, get the outfitter, go up to Mountain City, hunt migrator eggs. Yeah. Um, and the first couple springs we did that, you know, it was fun. We killed some birds. Um, but that's where I first got addicted or hooked to it, you know. Now, if you're uninitiated, you might wonder what we're doing hunting geese in the spring. This is the Spring Light Goose Conservation Order which has been in effect here since 1999 and was the Fish and Wildlife Service's response to exploding snow goose populations. Snow geese have been one of the winners in the expansion of agriculture, and their population started booming even in the 60s and 70s. Since 1999, the gloves have been off. There's no limit on how many you can shoot. You can use electronic collars, extended magazines, and all kinds of motion decoys. But just because you can shoot as many as you want doesn't mean you will. I don't know what it is about them that makes you want to go be a snow goose hunting guide because it's an awful job. It's yeah. a hard job. Yeah, the, the snow goose a, hunting is a job. You know, the chase of snow goose hunting brings this really specific group of people together mm -hmm. around a thing that doesn't have like a geographical base or a group of people base. You live in Kentucky, I'm from Iowa, I live in South Dakota, and yet we talk all the time and we're great friends because we like to hunt snow geese. Oh, yeah. like, and we're crazy. And we're nuts. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. There are some birds. What do you think of that, Kevin? What's that? All those birds. Yeah. Oh yeah. These birds are hunted for nine months of the year, move in flocks by the thousands, and can live to be over 30 years old. What you end up with is a very hard to hunt adult bird and hunters that are teetering on the line of passionate and crazy. A snow goose decoy spread can cost you tens of thousands of dollars. Snow geese take tons of fuel and driving time to effectively hunt and your efforts can still be completely fruitless. I have a feeling right now, because I get this feeling every year that we're in this lull or we're about to be for a couple days in this lull where we're on the very back end of the adult push and it's gonna seem like there's no snow geese left to show and then all of a sudden there's gonna be a juvie pocket here or there that pops up. You know, you can go two ways about it. We can like take the like nickel and diamond approach. Yeah. Of just getting under birds until it works 
or you can, you know, go big and try to find a freaking juvie pocket. But today might not be the day to do that. Yeah. I've seen flocks that look like adults act like juvies. So then you're like, true, yeah. You're like, like every there now ain't and then, no way you're 15 years old. Yeah. No every way. now and you get that flock that like they're full plume but they still like decoy twice and you're like, uh, okay, yeah. something goofy we just shot, about you. We just shot into you and you're coming right back. Yeah, like what's up with you? Yeah. yeah. This is not how I expected this night to go. I thought we were just checking two spots. You just can't really even imagine how many, like how many birds are actually in South Dakota this few weeks. Yeah. But snow goose hunters live for the few days where the stars align. If you can find uneducated juvenile snow geese, good weather conditions, and a good hide, the result is a roaring spin of feathers and feet settling over the decoys. It's rare, it's unlike anything else, and it is addicting. Good dog. Yeah, good girl. I really like that irrigation pivot, old irrigation pivot up there. Yeah, we could hide off that. Uh, I think as far as a hide goes, I, this isn't a bad option at all. We've got enough brush and stuff here. I really, I know we was wanting to do the um, A-frames, but I think layouts will definitely hide better here. Yeah. We can kind of, we still kind of somewhat got a side shoot which is good too. They shouldn't be looking at us as they're approaching. So, I how are you gonna want to run the move. spread on this? You think? We'll put the blinds here, and then I'll somewhat. We'll come up here a little ways with the top side of the spread, and then we'll just almost to it the down side the of the layouts. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Man, it's cold for a snow goose hunt. Setting a snow goose spread is an hours-long process, and almost feels like an effort of design more than hunting when hundreds or even thousands of decoys are spread out over a couple hundred yards. Getting a natural shape, proper density, and a good hide is hard. I've set a lot of spreads in the dark that look like trash when the sun comes up, but the monotonous task of pushing in stakes and hiding blinds is almost medicinal and lets the mind wander while you work in the cold and the dust. You get your cardio in, you know. Get your steps in. It's a workout every morning. <laughs> the spread looks good, except for our tire tracks are just yeah. awful. But I yeah. don't know, what do you do when it you get dust of snow? Like yeah, one of us out here the whole time mm -hmm. kicking stuff around. It's just that stuff that helps them out, man. Yeah. That's the stuff that is gives us away. Yeah. What do we got over there? Where? Oh, there's right snows there. right there. Flock coming? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they're it's coming. early. Yeah. That's good. We need them to come early. Yeah. <laughs> there's a wad of birds right there. They coming this way? It looks like they are. Right. Here's birds right here yep, too. Yeah. Tough. Let's tuck in, guys. These on the right are locked up too. Oh, these are locked up again, straight up. Look at them. Yep. Come on down. Come on. Oh, look at them. Come on. I want to get up and see where they're going, but I don't want to screw up the next block. Look at these flipping. Look at these flipping. Man, look at that above us. Maple leafing. From the, north. the first big flock didn't like what we were serving, and I'm pretty sure it's the conditions. Ideally, I'd want lots of wind, warm, and sun, not cold and cloudy. Here, Eddie. Wait on me. All right, get ready this time. Ready, Kevin? Get ready. Shoot him. Shoot. Shoot him. Right here in the decoy. Oh. He landed. Don't shoot him. Yeah, down. I'm not. <laughs> oh, go on. Hop up. Dead bird. 
Hey, we got a bird. Mikhail, finally, <laughs> at least one. We got one poison bird. Oh, they're still right here. Cover up, cover up, cover up, cover up. Rolling dice for a Juvie Ross. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, he's right here. All right, kill him. Kill him. Go ahead. What just happened? He's going down. I dare you to find uglier shooting and still coming out of, with out of yeah, the Yeah, I dare bird. you to find that and him come back just, oh, hell, I'll die there anyway. <laughs> I won't fell over the hill. But. Man, they're looking. And they're not even, they're not even hating it. They're just not. They're being adults. See, there's a wad here. Yeah, a bunch coming. Here. What's the plan then? Are you gonna try to scout? Like, just try to go find some, some juvie pockets somewhere? Yeah, I think Mikhail and I are gonna have to split up yeah. and just put, put miles on. Cause we're gonna have to be able to actually really scan these birds over and find what, not what's just a good feed, but what's, you know, good population in juvies. Yeah. yeah. Cause we saw no shortage of birds this morning, but that doesn't help you any. Yeah. No one the right birds. Tails tucked. Shooting two snows out of 40,000 seen is not the ratio we're looking for and it's clear that we don't have the conditions or juvenile geese in our favor. Back to what snow goose hunting really is, burning tires and gasoline. Both Mikhail and I scouted hundreds of miles until dark, and I found one heck of a feed. Two roosts converging on one field. But it was too late at night, and I wasn't able to get permission. Hopefully, tomorrow the farmer will give me a call back but for tomorrow morning, we're going back to the same field. Not ideal. This morning, we at least have sun and wind, but spirits are low. Odds are, it will still be adult snows hanging around this field, if we see any at all. Hey, there's two snows right up above us. Right over the sun. Shoot them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> We did that at the exact same time. Hey. Man, this is where the disparity in snow goose hunting just gets so ridiculous. You can shoot as many snow geese in one day as you might shoot in 30, 40, 50 days of hunting. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. My naivety, <laughs> I just thought like, I just kind of thought snow goose hunting was always a ton of birds, you know? Yeah. And, and, it certainly is not usually this rough. Like this is exceptionally hard hunting, but it's just, you get such a wide range of how bad it can be, right? <laughs> and bad it was. With the exception of a couple stragglers that got too close, we had no chance in this spot, not today. It just wasn't right and we all knew it, so we called it a wrap. But as we are picking the spread, the farmer from the night before gives me a call back and gives us permission. Just like that, we're back in the saddle. I take Mikhail and Kevin to see the spot, get a plan for a hide and decoy set up in the next morning, and go to the motel for our glamorous and only meal of the day, frozen pizza. We're in the spot. We couldn't do any better as far as being in it. I don't know how many snow geese that is or how many snow geese that is, but it's a pile. Bunch coming. If these birds were all hopping up into that cornfield, then I would be worried, but they're just moving water, water right now. It's still early. Yep. Just gotta be patient. That is so many snow geese. Come. Jump away. 
No, what's behind us? Uh, okay, get down there. Wait, man, we're back over there. Whatever we can get. Heartbreak. I thought that spin was what we chased all week, and instead we lost most of our roost. But we still had sun and wind. I don't know if I'd call it hope, maybe stubbornness, but I had something left. So we sat, waiting on migrators all day. Hey Kevin, you might want to Take your shotgun and walk out there in the decoys for a second and see if there isn't any that'll jump up for you. We got to do something. I mean, they didn't even like halfway set up. They didn't do fucking. Here we go. We're starting. Come on. Start to spin, baby. There's two right here. Oh my goodness. Come on, baby. Start that spin. Shoot him. Let me get him. Shoot him. Nice. That's a that was great. Oh mm -hmm. man. That's what dreams are made of right there. Interface from the heavens. Hey, another one working right here. Oh, yep. Goose right here falling out. I don't know what it is. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Shoot it. Nice. 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 <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm always killing, Mikhail. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> time and killing Doobie. Right here. Yeah. Kill him. Good nice. shot. I had no shell in my gun. <laughs> I shot on that first one, Kevin. Kill him. Got him. Did you? Yeah. Where's decoy, dude? You going? There he is. Good job. Hey, two more. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> oh, Woo. love it. Did we all three shoot at the exact yeah, same time on twice? Both birds, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's how there it's done. it is. We lost our son, but we got at least one last go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That feels like redemption after yep. the week we've had, man. 
While it wasn't the big flocks and close birds we'd expected this morning, there's always a northern trickle of snow geese on these sunny, warming days. See, snows are perhaps the most motivated of North America's waterfowl to get to the breeding grounds, and regularly will buck a stiff northwest wind in their mission to get north. Drained of energy and in need of corn and water, a few of these high flyers are dropping their guard when they see our decoys. It takes more and more every year to kill them as far as what the work goes into it required, right? The work required every year just gets to be more and more, yeah. but it's, you, you just can't help yourself. Yeah. Every year I'm like, you know what, this year I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit chasing <laughs> snows and I never do. I never even mean it, you know, but. Yeah, spend the rest of your life chasing them. Mm -hmm. At least until you lose your mind. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, there's no old, old snow goose Yeah, hunters. exactly. There's a reason you've never met an old They're snow all, goose hunter. They've all passed on. <laughs> That's the most work I've put in for this amount of snow geese in a long time. Twelve geese? But it paid off. I mean, we did it. Well, like any good hunt, it's not over till we clean these birds up and turn them yeah. into something. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to that part. Yeah. I don't know. What am I supposed to say? Snow geese did me wrong again. At the end of every brutal South Dakota winter, I'm all amped up to shake off the cabin fever and get back out into the field. I dream of big spins and freezers full of snow geese and getting together with my friends for our annual fix of adrenaline and sleepless nights. Truth is, few things make me question my own sanity like laying in a frozen cornfield, staring at the sun all day, living off gas station pizza. But next March, both the snow geese and myself will be back. <laughs>